Hello and welcome to the San Antonio Baptist Association Urban Missionary Training Center. In this video, we'll be looking at a tool that missionaries use around the world. It's called the P-Scale. You may never have heard about the P-Scale, but it was developed by a guy named Ralph D. Winner. He was the general director of the Frontier Mission Fellowship and the president of William Carey International University. He passed away, went to be with the Lord in May 2009. He developed this scale and it's used in quite a lot of uh, mission organizations. The P scale compares the cultural distances that potential believers need to move in order to join the nearest church. If you have a church in a context that uh, is in the culture or foreign to the culture, how far does that potential believer need to, to move? What are the barriers that that person needs to overcome in order to join the nearest church? This is a very good, simple, simple diagram. Obviously, you have the church on the far right. It's P0, same culture, P1, different culture, P2, and P3 is very different culture. Let's start with P0. P0 refers to the potential believers among church-going Christians. When I was a child, I was a P0. I was in a church. There was no cultural barriers that I needed to overcome. It was a natural part of my upbringing. I was a P0. Children that come to faith in Christ that grew up in the church would be considered a P0. Or adults that go to church that come to faith in Christ would be considered a P0 also. Let's look at same culture, P1. P1 refers to potential believers in relation to a culturally relevant church. A P1 would have been people that I grew up with, who lived in my community, who went to school with me, who, who lived in the same neighborhoods, did, had the same experiences, grew up playing sports, went to the same school, had all the same cultural experiences that I had, they would be considered a P1. They would not have to move very far in their cultural shift to be able to join a local church. Let's look at a P2, different culture. P2 refers to potential believers without a church whose culture is different to a people with a church. This is somebody that is culturally different than the local church. He doesn't necessarily understand or can relate because it's in a different cultural context. Think of someone who might move here to the United States who does not have, does not have a reference to a local church, but comes from a different culture. How far does that person need to move culturally in order to be able to join that church? Let's look at P3, a very different culture. P3 refers to potential believers without a church whose culture is very different from that of the nearest group with a church. That could be from one tribal setting to another tribe. It's a very different culture, different language. They would have to cross a whole lot of barriers in order to be able to access that church. P3 obviously is the most difficult to reach. That person would be expected to make a whole lot of changes. So what we want to do is we want to make the gospel available in every context. So this P2 and the P3 person does not have to cross a whole lot of barriers in order to understand the gospel and join a local church context. We want to plant churches in every cultural context and in every language. Once again, here's the chart. Many churches never consider the extent to which a potential believer must go in order to relate to a church. 
Many churches never think about this. They never think about the people that they're trying to reach. How far do they need to adjust? How far do they need to make changes in order to relate or even join a local church? Churches must consider how far we are asking people to change. We should be taking the gospel to them in their context so that they understand it in their context. It is very difficult to get people to change what they grew up with, to change in their thinking, to make the transition to become a Christian or to join a local church. Many churches only consider P0 or P1 potential believers. Consideration of a P2 or P3 person is non-existent. That's very unfortunate. We should begin to think in terms of P2 and P3 potential believers. To learn more about P2 and P3 potential believers, the gospel messenger must be trained. We cannot do this without the proper training. Consider allowing us to train you and your church. Our association exists to connect, encourage, and support churches for kingdom impact. Allow us to help you think in terms of P2 and P3 potential believers in your neighborhood. Thank you for watching this video.